from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? This installment I want to touch on yet another thing we Sand Troopers are constantly blamed for. Namely, the untimely demise of Owen and Brew Lars. Everyone always goes on about how we murdered these poor, innocent moisture farmers from Tatooine. But nobody's provided any proof whatsoever to back up this claim. It's all rumors and speculation. Troopers try to apprehend some well-known droid thieves and a simple bust gone bad, which leads the doughy-eyed Luke Skywalker to run home as quick as he can, because his uncle didn't have any problems breaking the law and buying stolen property. When he pulls up, do we actually see any troopers? No. Do we see anything left behind that would prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Empire was behind anything? No. What we do see is a farmer settlement trashed and two smoldering bodies, presumably of the Lars couple. For all we know, these two were taken out by some particularly nasty swoop gangs, Jawas bent on revenge for their own losses, or even Tusken Raiders. And we all know how I feel about those savages. But no, the bodies were smoldering. That's the key clue here, kids. Tuscan don't burn things. They usually just break everything they see in a blind, savage, animal rage. The Jawa aren't known to carry anything more powerful than an ion blaster to keep their stolen wares in line, so they're out. Blasters don't incinerate, they punch holes through things. These bodies were obviously burned, and stormtroopers don't carry flamethrowers, plasma, or otherwise. But you know who does? Bounty Hunters. Namely, the Fets. And remember, this all happened before Boba met his end in the giant sphincter of doom. Boba Fett seems to be the most likely person to have done this. He had the weaponry, and could have easily had the motive. What motive, you ask? How about a contract on the Lars family to bring in the boy Skywalker? But who would ever put out a contract like that? Well, not the Empire. If they'd known where the kid was, they'd have just shown up and taken him back to his father, whom he was abducted from in the first place. No, not the Empire and not Vader. Then who? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi wanted the kid to follow in his footsteps into the Holy Order of the Jedi, and he needed some way to cut the kid loose from the Lars. We already know that he has some serious ties with the Underworld through his old pal, Dexter Jetster. So my line of thought isn't such a stretch when you really think about it. And there you have it. Once again, I have absolved the Empire of any wrongdoing. So stop hounding me about these damned farmers already. I'm TD0013, and this has been A Different Point of View. The following has been a presentation of a different point of view. All rights reserved. The opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the Empire or its subsidiary systems.